It shows the forces present in Europe. It's clear that France is surrounded by her enemies. However, a large number has been underlined in bold. 26 million. I know what it is. It's an estimation of my country's population. All our neighbors have far fewer inhabitants. looking map of the Orient indeed. This is my mother's writing. I've picked up her trail. What is she up to? Obviously she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but but where? The clue she's left for Mortimer is his stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. Something strange about this table. The Little Surgeon's Perfect Collection. Strange. I don't recognize the alphabet. I wonder where the pictograms are from. It isn't Egyptian or Hebrew. There are two inscriptions on the sides as well as on the top. No way to know what's underneath. Absolutely no idea what it's for, but I find this cue fascinating. It looks like obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. These are feathers. Pigeon, probably. A skeleton by the name of Gustav, if the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. Mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton. <laughs> That's morbid. Oh, his right hand is missing. must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. An iron mask. I wonder who it's for. Seeing things, or is that an actual von Leeuwen hook microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Even at the order, it took us ages to get one of those. Honey, the remedy of the gods. A table of alchemical elements. So, Lord Mortimer also studies alchemy? It seems like he's interested in everything.
three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. I didn't seem as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré Saint Gervais. Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. It is a typical draw in a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance, that announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, the chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. To the right, the Emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. Oh shit. How am I gonna get out of here now? This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. Whoa, whoa. If the grid closes a bit more every time I enter a wrong date, I'd, I'd better not mess up again. It doesn't seem to be working. This looks like the same mechanism as the one on the other side. It looks too easy be a trap. <sighs> the wheels are stuck shit. I'm cornered like a rat. Someone's coming. Please don't let it be Mortimer. Who is it? Deliberately avoiding me. Four years ago I was his favorite. But nowadays I have to ask for an audience with his lordship. Damn it! It's Peru. I don't know if I should, but... Well, that's it! I've had enough of being humiliated. I'm wasting my time here. After everything I've done on his behalf, he dares treat me like a lackey? Sir Peru! It's Monsieur Le Richet. I've locked myself in behind the painting. Help me get out, please! What are you playing at, goddammit? There's a pedal under Lord Mortimer's desk. Can you see it? There's no... Hang on. Yes. Good. Now press it. Yeah, yeah. Done. You should see something resembling a frame with numbers. Yes? You have to turn them to set the combination. One, one, nine, one. Well, well. Poking our nose into Mortimer's little secrets, are we? You do surprise me. It's not what you're thinking. 
I'll explain everything. No, you will not, sir. It has nothing to do with me, and by the way, I never even saw you. So, I'll be on my way now. Thanks again. I'm indebted to you. I won't forget this. Yeah. Goodbye. I've wasted enough time. I better get moving if I want to find my mother. This painting isn't finished. I mean, it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but we can't exactly say it's been done in the style of the period. note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. All right, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Oh, for God's sake, just ask them. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? I must have brought him the first one, twenty odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies. But I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Aha. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing less than sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur de Richet, why not join us rather than find yourself eavesdropping? Well, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. Of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? I didn't mean to spy on you, but... You caught my attention. Your Eminence, I don't know what you said to Mr. Von Volner, but the poor fellow looks positively crestfallen. Not at all. Don't, no, don't you believe it, Louis. I was just telling Monsieur about Lord Mortimer's burning passion for holy relics. You must have noticed he's a bit of a collector. Well, for years, he has been searching high and low to bring all the copies of the Holy Spear together. As I was coming here, I thought I'd bring him a few of them. That's all. Be quiet, for God's sake. Uh, please leave us, monsieur. His Eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. Leave us now. Is everything all right, my young friend? Mr. President, 
You might be able to help me. I'd like to know where that sword comes from. Any idea? Hmm. It reminds me of the statues in the garden. I can't guarantee it, but you ought to go and see. You never know, do you? Thank you, Mr. President. You're quite welcome. See you soon. I am sorry, sir, but the conference room is under preparation and is consequently inaccessible to guests. The sword probably came from this garden, but what could it have been used for? Well... Monsieur de Richet, what brings you here? To tell the truth, I was wondering the same thing about you. It's rare for guests to wander about in the garden. I wanted to be alone for five minutes. You look worried. Worried? No. Resolved would be a more exact term. Resolved to do what? What's the point in answering? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Be seeing you. Tell me, aren't you even curious? Curiosity killed a cat, Monsieur de Richet. I admit, I may have judged you wrongly. Watching you seek out Mortimer's little secrets might even be amusing if I didn't already know the consequences. See you later. What scares you so much? Don't mess with him, monsieur. If he offers his help, refuse it. Keep your freedom and get far away from here while you still can. Ariadne. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. If I recall the Iliad, Ariadne is none other than the daughter of Minos and Pasiphae. She was in love with Theseus and helped him in his quest to kill the Minotaur in return for a promise of marriage if he defeated the monster. She gave him a reel of thread so that he could find his way back through the labyrinth, which was famous for being unsolvable. But once the beast was slain, the gallant was quick to abandon her on an island. Turns out heroes are not what they once were. I guide this sword that would kill the monster. Let's see. The crack as long as my finger. Icarus. The son of Daedalus and Nocrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, they came unstuck and he fell to his death. <laughs> Pity. Hey, there's no crack here. Well, let's keep going. Theseus, son of Aegeus, he's the one who slayed the Minotaur. 
Looks like a crack has been made on his torso. It's as long as a finger. I'd say between six and eight centimeters. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. Asterion. It is rare to see him like this. In general, he's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur. The famous son of Minos and Pasiphae. This statue has a crack in it. The crack is thin and about as long as a finger. I should be able to thrust in my sword. Let's go. Minos. Son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. His gesture sealed his fate. The crack is in the region of the heart. Daedalus. He's the architect of the labyrinth, and if I'm not mistaken, he's also the father of Icarus. I am the architect of my own demise. Hey, there's a crack in this statue too. Pasiphae, daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. She has no cracks. All right, let's continue anyways. I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. Looks like this slab moves. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a passageway underneath it. It's up to the just to deliver judgment. Truth unlocks all possibilities. What is that? It's like a sort of opening mechanism. Knowing Mortimer, I bet it's booby-trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Again? I... You can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. 
You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to- Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now get out! What was that? That's the third time in three days. <gasps> Let's see if you're you're in there, mother. Hmm, someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. Hmm, there are patches where the blood isn't totally clotted. That's a good sign, right? She changed them recently, which proves she's still looking after herself and still believes in her chances. Well, I'd love to tell her to keep hanging in there. Mother, now what's happened? 